Hello all, I am Sai and you are watching the book dragon. In today's video, I am bringing to you uh, how to do annotations in books, what annotation actually is. Uh, my, one of my viewers actually requested me to do this, uh, that is whether I annotate my books or not and if I do, I have to make a video on that and that's the sole reason why I am doing this because it might be helpful to people who want to start annotating books. So without any further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, to start with, what is actually annotation because uh, when I started uh, watching videos like this in YouTube, uh, I didn't even know what annotation was and I was lazy to Google it because we tend to be like that, okay, uh, because we are just human. And I'm just going to tell you what annotation actually means. Uh, being readers, most of us people, we read a lot of books across different genres and they might be non-fiction, they might be fiction and there are a lot of stories and a lot of things to remember and it's not possible for any human being to remember all those things that they read. We are not city, okay, and we cannot remember everything that we read. So we readers or uh, people in general, we follow this technique called annotation which is nothing but uh, taking down notes or uh, marking certain specific points in things which we read about. Uh, for example, now if you if you are going through an article, okay, uh, there are certain uh, important points in the article which are either italicized that is they are put in italics or they are put in bold uh, or they are underlined uh, bold italic or underlined they just uh, do it for specific parts of the article so that uh, they stand out uh, from rest, from the rest of the text this is uh, done because uh, though you are not able to remember the entire article these specific things which are mentioned are things that are more important than that and the art of or the process of uh, highlighting and uh, how to say emphasizing certain things in order to stand out uh, it is annotation and i follow a different uh, a few different techniques in order to annotate my books i just don't annotate my books by doing it in the books itself i also use certain other things so i'm going to speak about those things in this uh, video and if you're a person who's uh, thinking of starting to annotate your books i'd highly suggest you to do them because it'll be helpful for sure in the future a lot and if you're uh, a reviewer like me or if you like to discuss books like me uh, I'm sure that you have to annotate books because you will be reading a lot in the future and there's not a great possibility that you'll be uh, remembering certain little details which are very much important when it comes to certain books and while annotating I'm sure that even though you uh, how to say you forget a, a little amount of stuff you'll be able to go back into the book and just uh, go through your annotations and remember the actual gist of the story or the book. First way in which I annotate my books is highlighting and for highlighting certain parts of my book I just use a highlighter. Uh, most people who are in India they might have used this uh, in the school or college time for sure. If not in college in school for sure because uh, we were advised by our teachers okay always to uh, just highlight things which they said to be important and most of the times the entire book was color, uh, was covered in some color like this green or blue or orange predominantly orange or this uh, green always and uh, that habit has stuck up with me and it has been uh, proving to be a good one uh, while I annotate some of my books that is I use a highlighter and I just highlight certain uh, parts of the book I'll, I'll just show you an example of uh, how I highlight my books uh, and how it can be used as an annotation now when while i read uh, self-help books or non-fiction books in general like this one uh, especially self-help because there's a lot there's a lot lot to take from self-help and i'm currently reading this one so i'm going to show this an, as an example i've not finished it i'm like one third into the book and okay hmm. there are certain parts of the book which might uh, feel important or interesting to me and they might feel doable also uh, it's not that while you read an entire self-help book everything in that can be applied in your life I can and you can do everything um, there might be certain instances uh, which you feel that uh, this is very much doable I can do this for sure and there's a great possibility that within a hundred pages book you can get like 40 to 50 uh, different things like that and it is not at all possible to anyone to remember all those 40 to 50 things as such in their mind because we are human beings not robots or computers okay and what i do actually is uh, while i come across something that seems important for me i highlight it uh, certain things which i highlight are uh, quotes or uh, certain steps that are uh, said by the author that is uh, while i used to uh, read books about time management what uh, actually comes again and again is that you have to schedule stuff but uh, 
at times what people say is they just tell you to schedule and at certain other chapters in, uh, while you go through the book they say how you can schedule uh, those things are said and while you while you go through that stuff uh, if a person is saying like five different ways to schedule that schedule your time it's not possible to remember all those things in your head because uh, scheduling itself is difficult and to remember five different uh, types of scheduling it's not at all possible for a normal per- person so what i do at such times is i just uh, go into the book and each and every five uh, each and every five of the methods that can be used for scheduling i just go and highlight certain things uh, which i feel uh, important or i feel doable that is i can put them into practice and they can uh, bring out some uh, how to say effective changes uh, in my <clears throat> routine i just highlight them and by using uh, highlighters i'm sure that you'll not be damaging the book and i always uh, use highlighters only in my non fiction books not at all in my fiction books ever because those are like gems to me i don't want to spoil them at all but these need to be highlighted these need to be annotated because there's no other way you'll be remember, remembering stuff from that and no one has the time to reread each and every book that they have read just in order to get certain uh, important points from the book so always try to highlight important points while you're reading self help books the next way in which i annotate my self help books is or non fiction books in general is uh, by taking notes uh, this is a bit difficult compared to highlighting because in highlighting you just highlight the points that are given in the book but when it comes to uh, taking notes or making notes uh, it requires a bit more effort and time because not everyone has that much of time reading itself takes a lot of time you have to spend a little bit more time taking notes down it's a bit difficult but you if you are interested you have to do it and they will be helpful a lot for sure and most of the time i listen to the self help books and i don't just read them because it's like that uh, listening self help is easier for me compared to reading them so i just have a diary for that and just a minute okay i just uh, write down the topic of the book and the date in which i started it like this okay and while the book starts i just uh, listen to the book and if something strikes to be important for me i just pause the book and i just uh, write a simple description of what the author is trying to say in that part of the book okay you it might seem like i've written a lot but it's not because the the note is short so it might seem like a lot but it's not a lot uh, certain people have also asked me uh why do you write 10 to 15 pages of summary for a 100 page book you can just finish it in like 2 to 3 pages i'm like totally against that stuff because uh, if you're reading a 100 page book and there's only 3 or 4 pages of content uh, worth remembering i'm sure that you wasted a lot of your time because uh, self help books have a lot in them and if i can concoct a 100 page book into 10 pages of my summary it's great because uh, all the 100 uh, all the important points that have been said in those 100 pages come within these 10 pages uh, within which i have written and they will be helpful for me to a great extent and always uh, rather than highlighting it's uh, easier to remember stuff when you write them down because this is the way you put it down rather than how the author has put it down you just uh, get an idea of what the author has said and you write it in your own words so it'll be easier for you to comprehend as well as practice so i'd highly suggest you to write down certain things when you're reading self help books or non fiction books in general the last physical way in which i currently annotate my books is these which are sticky notes uh, they are really cheap they are really not at all expensive they don't take a lot of time to do these also you need not put in a lot of effort you can just write down certain stuff peel it off and stick it in the page and they don't even damage the books that's the best part about these and in order to show an example i've taken the most recent book that i've annotated and i've annotated this a lot i have a dedicated review for this one which is life of pi i try i'll try to link it down in the description so you can check it out and i've annotated this a lot okay there have been like 7 to 8 pages in which i have annotated this book and that's usually a lot for me this is one, okay in this i've said religion said simply uh, which is nothing but um, there is this certain paragraph a uh, specific paragraph above the sticky note for me in which the author has explained uh, the differences in religion in a really cute way okay it, it, it is the gist of the world if you ask me and the religions in general it was great it was how he tells uh, all our human beings despite uh, following different practices it was excellent in that sense and it was good you have to try annotating books like this and uh, while i uh, put up sticky notes what i do is actually uh, i write down the stuff in the sticky notes i pay it off and i just 
stick them in the page and the location is usually uh, the nearest free space to the line now if a paragraph ends and i have to annotate something in that paragraph uh, there will be some gap between that paragraph and the next paragraph right so i just uh, paste the sticky there so i need not uh, navigate through the whole uh, page in order to uh, <coughs> read what i have, I have actually annotated uh, it will be easier for me i don't know if you understand this but that's what i do <laughs> i stick the sticky as close to the line as possible so it doesn't take me a lot of time to comprehend what i've annotated and um, another thing is that certain people also use uh, these things called post-it flags i'll try to uh, drop an image here uh, these things are used to annotate specific lines in a book they are available in different colors they are available as sets what people do is uh, you can uh, color code that is uh, this color indicates a specific type of type of annotation in the book that is uh, if there are like green and blue okay uh, we can keep green for character and blue for plot there is something that is very interesting or uh, very much turning that is going on in the plot then uh, it uh, that specific line or specific portion of the book is ca uh, it can be highlighted in blue what actually happens is when you annotate them you will be able to see the colors here so you need not uh, search a lot if you want to if you are uh, doing a video or doing a review based on the plot of the book alone then you can just uh, go through those uh, blue things in the blue uh, set blue portions of the book and you can get the actual plot of the book and actual uh, twists in the plot as well and the other one uh, which i said as an example green you can just uh, uh, color code certain points in which the character develops and you can get the entire char character arc within that book those are like great uh, tools uh, in order to annotate i have i have not used them yet because they are a bit uh, expensive <laughs> these are uh, big and they don't cost it uh, cost a lot at all they are so small yet they cost a lot that's the main reason why, why i've not used uh, post-it flags but i'll definitely use them in the future i don't know when but i'll be using them for sure while i read like huge chunkies like the king killer, king killer chronicles or uh, the stormlight archive because those books are like thousand thousand two hundred pages long and i'm definitely going to read them in the future but while i read them i'll definitely try and use uh, as many annotations as i can because it's not all possible to read and uh, uh, how to say remember all those uh, big chunks of stories the last way in which i annotate my books is something which everyone who has a mobile phone can easily do now while you're reading a book uh, all of us we follow this nowadays uh, during the times when we didn't uh, have smartphones and uh, the internet connection was not that much uh, easily available as now uh, we always had a dictionary right when, when we don't understand a word we either ask it to our parents elders siblings or anyone if anyone doesn't know we just go for a dictionary and search it. i used to do it in the in that way if not every person uh nowadays what i do is i use a mobile while i'm not able to understand what a per specific word means i google this synonym i just get an idea of what it is and i just go with the story and um, there are certain things which happen like this also while i'm moving in the train also i read uh, how to say i read self-help books at times and it is not possible to sit down and write in a train okay it's going to be moving and it's going to be uncomfortable for you as well as others so what i do at that time is i just uh, we all have the notes app in any smartphone right i just uh, take down certain hints and that remains in my phone and afterwards i just copy them down to my uh, note and um, it's very much useful if you're not using notes you're uh, uh, wasting a lot of it you're wasting uh, the how to say use of a smartphone if you're having one so always try to uh, take down notes in a notes app because texting is very much easy compared to uh, writing and it will not even take a lot of time uh, if you are finding it difficult even to uh, text down notes there's another way which i follow which is that it cannot be done in public places if you are reading separately as a solitary person then this is highly possible if the surrounding is quiet just take down voice notes if your if your phone has a text note uh, how to say service it will also have a voice note or just recording every phone has recording right uh, just record rename the file and uh, keep it that keep it as such uh, this this file ha if i'm uh, reading like this thing which is the quick and easy way to effective speaking uh, i just record certain of my thoughts in that voice recording and i just uh, name it as the quick and easy way to effective speaking it just stays in my uh, stays in my phone and when i find time i just listen to it and write it down it's like a personal audiobook rather than any other thing and i've uh, found these 
tools which are my mobile phone that are just available for free very very much useful when it comes to annotating books that's all for today and i do expect that uh, you have got some idea of how you can annotate books uh, without spending money also from this video if you found this useful don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also share it to your friends if you want to get more content from me do subscribe to the channel thanks for watching and have a great rest of your day